Before the playoffs, the big story with the Bills was the benching of Tyrod Taylor and the criticism that ensued. But in your piece for SI, you wrote how Sean McDermott has had players share personal stories. Clearly, to me, it's a way to sort of build the confidence of the team. Do you believe the Bills actually believe they can make a playoff run? I believe that they believe <laughs> <laughs> that they will win. <laughs> um, I mean, it's like the USA soccer exactly. model. You just got to believe. <laughs> exactly. I, um, McDermott has done a really crazy and incredible job with leading that team. And you can just look back. Albert Breer wrote this um, a couple days ago um, in his column about how McDermott recovered from that Nathan Peterman debacle in week 11 when he threw five interceptions in a little over two quarters. And he just owned it up to the team. He was honest with them, said, you know what, maybe that wasn't the right decision, but let's move on together. And he was super honest. And that's kind of the way that he's led this team. And with sharing the life stories and team meetings, he's really created a really strong bond between everybody. Like when I was there, Tyrod Taylor is telling me he's crying when other guys are talking and sharing their stories. So if you get guys to cry in front of each other, you've got a really tight bond.